Good evening. First, I want to say thank you for keeping me and my daughter in your prayers. I can't really say what's going on, um, but um, just need lots of prayers. Matthew 24, verse 12 through 13 says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Does that mean we go through the tribulation? No. <clears throat> what it means is we're going to be going through some rough times. But the Holy Spirit's always with us. But the rapture can happen any, any second. <clears throat> a lot of people think the rapture's going to happen this year. I There's a good chance it could. I, I pray it does. I'm not going to say for sure, because we don't know, but it's sure looking like it's going to. I guess we'll see. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, and you have repented, all of your sins are washed clean. And you will be rapture ready. That's just going to happen any time. If you haven't accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, I implore you to do it today. Just the next second isn't promised. We have nothing to fear with everything that's going on in the world because we're going to be leaving soon. There's no world leader that's going to fix this problem. Wherever you're listening in the world, whoever's in charge in your country, they want you to think they have everything together and everything's going to be great. No. There's no world leader that's going to fix this. And you know what? When the bombs drop, they're going to save themselves. We stand with Christ. We know where this is heading. People look at us like we're one fry short of a Happy Meal. <coughs> they look at us like we're nuts. <coughs> it's fine with me. Don't bother me, none. Because we'll be at the marriage supper. Now, this article from Yahoo News, I'm proud of my state. Of course, you know, I'll always be a New Yorker. Well, family's from New York, Long Island, um, Long Concoma, Farmingdale, Brooklyn. But, um, always a New Yorker. But I've been down here in Texas since 79, maybe, maybe 80. I think it was 1980. <coughs> and this is this makes me proud. And I'm a mother. I have a daughter. This makes, this makes me proud of my state. Texas leaders develop new database to stop threats from Venezuelan immigrants. See, this is something that our president should be doing. What is our president doing? Now, he's on the beach. How anybody in the right mind votes for this guy is beyond me. Texas Governor Greg Abbott discussed Texas's new database aimed to help stop the threat of Venezuelan immigrants entering the United States according to a release from the governor's office. Abbott <coughs> held a press excuse me, conference Monday morning to announce the database. He was joined in Houston by the Texas Department of Public Safety Director Steve McCraw, Texas Border Cesar um, Mike Banks, <coughs> Houston Police Department Chief J. Noe Diaz and National Reporter Patrol Council Vice President Chris Cabrera. Abbott said since 2021, more than 3,000 illegal immigrants from Venezuela have been arrested in Texas. Praise the Lord. Hey, Biden, why don't you do this for all the United States? Why don't you get your butt off the beach and actually try and help your country? I don't know. Wishful thinking, I guess. <clears throat> Abbott focused his discussion around the vicious Venezuelan gang Trend D. Ar Arguera or TDA. Quote, we need to aggressively address this threatening challenge, Abbott said. According to a report from the United States Customs and Border Pat Protection Agency, in 2024, <coughs> reports of a single adult encounters at South Texas borders have dropped by 27.9%. According to a recent report on News Nation, TDA started in a prison in Venezuela nearly a decade ago. TDA has now expanded to what state and federal officials are calling a trans 
National Criminal Award, G-A-N-I, G, you know, you never know what they're going to sense you for here. TGA is notorious, oh, I'm not going to say what they're notorious for, that's, let's just say, anything that you think that these vicious demons will, would do, they do, basically. Abbott said, through a collaboration between the state of Texas and several other state and federal agencies, they have discovered that TDA has been given the green light whoa, to shoot. Oh, they have been given the green light to basically um, go after law enforcement officers. Abbott announced that through efforts working alongside state and federal government agencies, Texas is working on a database that will help figure out which immigrants are infiltrated with TDA. Quote, we will build the database by looking at common traits shared by TDA. Some of those characteristics include tattoos, scars, marks, types of crimes, and methods of operation. Maybe I shouldn't be saying it now. Well, I guess he's already reported it. I was thinking maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he's already had a news conference with all of this. So, In an effort to directly target TDA, Abbott directed DB DPS, Department of Public Safety, to elevate TDA to a Tier 1 gang, ensuring that DPS has the resources needed to, quote, stop the grown gang, end quote. I am proud of my state, let me tell you. I am proud of my state. Because, um, see, times like this, even though my daughter's turning 30, I, I, I wish she could be here with me, you know? She's still my baby, you know? But, um, I know the Lord will keep her safe. And she's got two pit bulls in the house. So, um, but the Lord will keep her safe. But, you know, I'm in this earthly body, these, you know, this horrible demonic world. And we're going to have those minutes, especially when you're a mom, of worry. But we brush them off, we give it to the Lord. Because I know he will keep her safe. Well, I'm proud of my state, let me tell you. I am proud of my state. Rapture could happen any minute. A lot of people think it's, like I said, it's going to be 2024. We're all praying it does. Let's all be in agreement in Jesus' name that the rapture happens in 2024. Okay. But whenever it is, we will be ready. We're not going to stop looking. You ever, like, um, I've mentioned this in some of my videos, like, I'm always looking at this guy. You ever, like, walking into a store somewhere, or just wherever you're walking, and you're looking up at the sky, and people around you are wondering what you're looking at? What is she looking at? Okay. Yeah, that's happened to me before. I'm looking up this guy. Somebody walks by me and they start looking up this guy. They're probably thinking, what the heck is she looking at? I'm waiting for Jesus to return. I don't want to be here anymore. <clears throat> um, my uh, breathing has been okay today. But it just seems like the more I talk, I get winded. Um, I go to see the new orthopedic doctor tomorrow. I don't know if he's going to want to take x-rays. Um, I don't know if my insurance will cover it so close to the other ones. Um, but I'll let you guys know what he says. The big question I want to ask him is two big questions. One, is it starting to heal? Two, when can I get back to work? So, I will let you guys know. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your prayers for me and my daughter. And um, I pray for all of you every day and your families every day. And um, I still have my GoFundMe. That's kind of what I'm living on right now until the doctor gives me the green light to start working again. So um, thank you to the Sister in Christ that recommended that I try castor oil. I'm going to be doing that every night. I did it last night. And um, another Sister in Christ um, told me to try uh, Boron. I think that was the name of it. B-O-R-O-N. Um, it's a supplement, um, like a vitamin, you know. Um, I do take the calcium with the magnesium. I think it has zinc in there, too. Motrin for inf inflammation. I put ice on it. Um, milk thistle, multivitamins, got almonds, yogurt, just you name it. I'm trying everything. And I just l literally, guys, I sit here with it elevated all day. Unless I'm watching my grandson. So, and it's driving me nuts, let me tell you. I, I'm, I'm ready to get back to work. Oh. I'll let you guys know and thank you for your prayers and yes I am I am super super proud of my state super proud so God bless you guys I love you and I will talk to you soon